Hello and welcome back. Um, I've let that dry now. It's still a little bit damp in places, but it won't matter too much. It's just um, stable enough for me to carry on with the next part, which is the tissue paper. So I've picked some colours that I might like to use. I've got the gold, a nice sort of rich orangey yellow, the turquoise, and some green. So I'm just going to decide what to go with. I'm not quite sure yet. I think I might go for I think I might go for green for the beetle. And I'll do the ball or the circle or the disc yellow, so it's a bit like the sun. And I'll perhaps do the blue for the background. Or I might do blue for the beetle and green for the background. I quite like the idea of the gold and the beetle, but what I might do, I'm going to do the beetle green. If I don't like it, I can always change it to gold by using paint or, or some other, other technique where I can use um, some silver foil and sort of rub it on and so it gets nice and shiny. So yep, yeah, I like that idea. So I think I'll go with the green. So I'm going to take my tissue paper, find which way it looks it's that way. I'm just going to tear it into some smaller pieces. I'm going to take my same PVA glue solution and I'm going to start applying some of the glue tissue. So you can tear it into sort of rounded edges. So I'm going over the string and I'm just going over onto the canvas and the glue soaks through the tissue paper. So it's just carefully dabbing it down so it hugs the string. So overlap it a little. So this is like a laminating technique. We're using glue and tissue paper. So I'll carry on and speed this bit up so you can see what it looks like when I finish the beetle.
Right, I'm just going to um, do something slightly different for the head pieces. Details around the, the head and the eyes. So I've got some split peas, which are sometimes used to this technique. And just yellow, and just yellow split split peas. Just get a few out. Might be the right size. And just round where the eyes are going to be. I think I might just pop one there and one there. So it's like the beetle's eyes, which is quite good. And then Maybe a few bits around the mouth parts, like smally, smaller bits. Falling on the floor, so a bit more extra detail for the antennae eye bits. parts or whatever they are. Huh? Oh. Right, so I think that gives a bit more nicer shape to the mouth, so I'm just gonna go over those with tissue. Kind of coax it around the shape of the eye and the mouth bits. So when this is dry it'll all shrink over the string. Maybe give a nice tight sort of relief. It's quite fiddly in places, but it's quite relaxing actually. I quite like doing this. I think that's pretty much done for the body. Whoops. Got my scissors stuck. Right, so if I find any, when it dries, sometimes you find little gaps that you've missed, but you can just go over those, no problem. Right, so the next step is, oops, that's come undone, is to do the, the um, disc. So I'm going to do that. Yellow, I'll see how I feel. So I'll start over here. 
here. Remembering to overlap the string just a little bit. So the string's there, a little bit of tissue that side. And it will, as it dries, it will shrink back over the over the string. Okay, I'll speed this up and complete this bit. Right, that's finished for now. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. See how it's sort of still shiny because it's still wet, but you can start seeing the detail of the head and the body. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry and we'll come back for the next stage. Right, so it's the last part of finishing this piece of work. I'm just going to um, add some of the blue tissue paper around the outside and then it can be left to dry, it's still a bit damp in places. The sun is shining really nicely through the window and sort of highlighting the shadows which is quite nice. Um, so I shall continue with this. You know the technique by now so I'll just speed through to the end. 
Thanks for watching. Right, that stage is all complete. Um, join me in the next video and we'll do some distressing to the surface and make it a li little bit more sort of aged and um, antiqued and distressed. And I think maybe we'll add some gold leaf or some gold foils. So hope to see you at the next video to see how we get on. Thanks for watching. Bye.